All right, so back to the uh, back to the lesson. What I wanted to say is that you know dealing with this Black Lives Matter situation, these these riots that pop up every so often, and Jake burned down stuff, set set their neighborhoods on fire, and really don't get anything accomplished because they don't really address the actual issue. They don't. They they never take the fight to who the fight needs to be taken to. They just run around through the streets in an unorganized manner, just doing random acts of violence. And then what is that supposed to accomplish? What, what has that ever accomplished? Because the, the thing you have to understand, like I say, these things were prophesied to happen and it's all in preparation, you good, for the race riots. To, there will be race riots in these streets. There will be chaos in these streets. As judgment from the Heavenly Father. You know, I've been talking to different people today and uh, the one guy who he, he was rebelling, he said that, you know, that's the history of America. You have a question? I'm a Hebrew Israelite. I'm of one of the 12 tribes uh, that's in the So we just teach the truth of the scripture. Right. And you see the, the state, you see the state that America is in right now? That's because judgment is, is coming to, to this place. The Heavenly Father is going to destroy America. World War III is coming. Yeah, World War III is coming. So get ready. So uh, dealing with that, that situation, and like I was saying, that's all just a setup to get these Jake into these concentration camps. That's not a real revolt or revolution. They're just that's just the elite dangling the carrot in front of you, silly rabbits. That's all that is. So I'm going to go to this. Real quick. Oh, I'm sorry. This is Matthew. Just to go along with uh, what I was reading earlier, second, uh, second Ezra 15 and 14 and the 15th verse. This is Matthew. Chapter 24, verse 4. And Yahweh answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Masiach, and, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines, and pestilences, and earthquakes, in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. So all that, that's just the very beginning of sorrows. Nation rising against nation. Wars and rumors of wars. Earthquakes in diverse places. That's just the tip of the iceberg. But we see all this beginning to take place. Like I say, all these rides are setting up for the main event. You know, those are just the preliminaries of the main event. The main event is going to be bloodshed, ties the horse's bridle, running freely through these streets. That's what's coming. That's what's coming. Jacob versus Esau. That's what's coming. So with that being said, I'm gonna end it right there and uh right and just just get ready because let me say this before I end it. The mark of the beast, which is the 
worry about the microchip. That's already in place. They're getting ready to make it mandatory. And once you see that thing being made mandatory, once that mark of the beast is made mandatory, then that, the, the floodgates are going to be wide open for judgment, chaos, or sword, famine, pestilence. All that, the teeth of beasts, all that, get ready for it. Once that mark of the beast is made mandatory, which is the RFID microchip, once that is brought into law, and we see that getting ready to take place because the U.S. dollar is, you know, almost null and void. The U.S. dollar is almost null and void. Certain countries overseas, they, they strictly will not accept the U.S. dollar anymore because of the debt that's tied to it. The United States is, is over $20 trillion in debt. That's just the national debt. Then when you go into the unfunded liabilities, like uh, Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, you know, the whole uh, medical system. Now, Obamacare has added unto the burden, unto that bureaucracy. Then that thing shoots quickly up into the hundreds of trillions of dollars. So, the nation is like, Man, why? I'm not going to sign on to that anymore. I'm not going to accept this overinflated U.S. dollar and, and let that, that dollar drag me into debt any longer. I heard that China, through the IMF, or through BRICS, BRICS is making up their own, you know, uh, BRICS, which is, is uh, bear with me one second, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and then South Africa. Those nations have formed their own bank, and then now they're beginning to issue SDRs, which are special drawing rights, which is a form of paper currency but it's backed by gold. Because they're trying to gradually break away from the dollar. Because when this dollar collapsed, China and Russia, India, uh, yeah, yeah, China, they, they um, it's gonna bring them down too. It's gonna bring them down too. These countries, they say, you know what? We need to come together to protect ourselves and our countries because a financial collapse is going to come. And they know this. People here in America, in the, in the Federal Reserve System, in the uh, financial sectors of the United States of America, they know that this collapse is coming. A lot of them too busy trying to save their own asses to alert you people to it because they don't want to create a panic and trigger the collapse. So they, they have you believe in that, oh, everything is good. It's all, you know, U.S. dollar is still strong and they tell you that they push them lies and madness in the media. Oh, everything is good, you know. Dow is up, you know, and, it, and all this and, you know, a certain collapse is coming. And I'm saying that just to bring bring the point of the prophecies and the prophecies being correct. Judgment is coming. There's none that shall escape. And either you are right with the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, and you place your faith in them and that they will deliver you, or you're going to be destroyed in this destruction that's coming get caught up in the calamity that's coming. Uh, contrary to popular belief, America is not going to keep on forever. That's it for this place. And I'm going to end it with the very scripture 
that the black woman brought out that she quoted. The black woman quoted the scripture, man, and it was on point. Because I asked her earlier, <coughs> so-called black woman, about how she feel about, you know, all these police shootings and stuff, and what was the answer? And she said her answer, her answer was, come out of her, my people. You know, which, which that's, that's the elect are gonna hear that voice at the time of destruction, right before the missiles detonate. But the book of, of Jeremiah backs her up. And I'ma read that in Jeremiah chapter 51. Matter of fact, I'ma start at the fifth verse. So it's Jeremiah chapter five, chapter 51, verse five. For Israel had not been forsaken, nor Judah of his power, of the Lord of hosts. Though their land was filled with sin against the Holy One of Israel. So the Heavenly Father is gonna have mercy on the house of Israel, which are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. So let me read that again. It's Jeremiah chapter 51, verse five. For Israel had not been forsaken, nor Judah of his power of the Lord of hosts. Though their land was filled with sin against the Holy One. Flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity, for this is the time of the Most High's vengeance. He will render unto her a recompense. So when it says flee ye out of the midst of Babylon, Babylon is America. So flee out of the midst don't mean to go get a passport and go to some other God-forsaken country. So I would tell, as 